everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be a quite exciting one. A video going around on YouTube has been recreating Blank's Instagram or copying Blank's Instagram. I have really enjoyed watching these videos. I find them very interesting to watch and some of them that I have seen people do have been absolutely insane and the photo comparison is just amazing. So I really wanted to try and do this video myself but Trying to figure out whose Instagram I could recreate was kind of hard since I wanted to do someone that was very similar to me because obviously I don't have blonde hair, I don't have black hair, I don't have brown hair. So it was kind of hard to figure out whose Instagram I was going to recreate. But then I kind of had a light bulb moment go off in my head. And today I am going to be recreating Madeleine Petch's Instagram. Also, side note, I actually looked up how to say her name. I watched an interview of her where she had to like say her name because I wanted to make sure I said it right. But I'm going to be recreating Madeline Petch's Instagram. So I went through her Instagram and I picked three different photos. Now, it was a little bit harder to figure out and to decide what photos I wanted to do and what photos I wanted to recreate because the majority of the photos on her Instagram are either from red carpets or events or photo shoots or some of them are also from uh, Riverdale when she was like filming Riverdale so it was a little bit harder to find more just kind of like everyday more casual photos on her Instagram to recreate but I managed to find three different ones so if you want to see me trying to recreate Madeline Petch's Instagram then just keep on watching so the first Instagram photo that I picked or the first photo that I picked to recreate is this one right here I'll put a picture up on the screen uh, so this one I like to call the beauty blender picture so this was taken in collaboration with beauty blender um, and obviously I wasn't gonna go out and buy like 20 plus beauty blenders so what I did instead was I went on to my computer and I went into Microsoft and I printed off a bunch of light blue kind of like teardrop shaped pictures uh, and I printed off about 20 of those mm, yeah 10 to 20 ish uh, of those I printed those off and then I just simply cut them out because that way it was way simpler doing that than going out and buying like 20 beauty blender. So her photo was obviously taken on a plain white background so I did my best trying to do that and I just simply put down three big pillowcases that we had. Now I had thought that this was going to be a sheet but from unfolding it it turned out that it had been pillowcases so I just used the pillowcases. Uh, so I laid the three pillowcases out on the ground in my living room because that was kind of where the best lighting would have been. So I laid those out and then my sister actually had a shirt that was kind of similar to the one that she was wearing in the picture. I think she more than likely is wearing a dress in this picture and it has some ruffles on it. It is white and red, really like small stripes. Now I don't really have anything similar to this. My sister thankfully did have a shirt that was kind of same with the ruffles along the top here. So I just did the best that I could with this photo. It was similar kind of in color where it was a little more on that red side, but once again, I was just doing the best that I could for this photo. So I laid down on the ground with my head and the top of my back on the pillowcases. And then from there, I got my sister to lay out the little teardrop shaped beauty blenders that I had printed out and also to kind of like fix my hair to make it similar to hers. And then from there, my sister stood over top of me and took the photo. The photo actually turned out pretty good, but I did put it into Facetune and I whitened the pillowcases so you didn't get as much decreasing and just to make it brighter and a lot more similar. And then I also went through and I went into tones and I kind of changed the blues and made it a little bit darker. So I think this photo turned out okay. It was definitely the hardest one to recreate just because it was taken like professionally through a photo shoot and I also didn't really have that similar of a shirt either so this photo out of the three were, was definitely the hardest but this is the before photo and then this is the after photo 
So I think I did a pretty good job. Also, another thing is my hair is quite a lot shorter than Madeline's is. I wish this was around in January before I had cut my hair because it would have worked so much better. But I think I did an okay job with the before and after. But once again, this definitely was the hardest one to recreate. Moving on to the second photo, which is this photo right here. And this is kind of the bed photo. Now, thankfully, I had a pair of jeans that were pretty much exactly the same. And I went into my dad's closet I found and found a shirt that kind of had the same or a very similar kind of graphic design on the front of it. So I took this in my room. So the first thing that I did was I pulled down the blind uh, from my window because on one side of my bed I have a window and the other side I have a closet. Now this photo was probably taken in a hotel in a hotel room so I just closed the blind on my one side I took my like color pillows off of my bed I also pulled my fuzzy blanket off my bed as well since there wasn't one in the photo and then from there I kind of set up my pillows to look similar to what hers were in the photo so she was wearing black jeans that had rips in the knees I had a pair of my own that I had bought a while back and then I went into my dad's closet and I found a shirt from his and I actually wore it backwards because the front had a little logo on it and then the back had a pretty much full design on it that covered the full uh, back of the shirt so I just wore the shirt backwards and then she was also wearing a small black choker in the photo as well I also had one of those, so I put that on, um, and because my dad's shirt was quite big on me, I actually tucked it into the back of my pants so you couldn't see it while I was laying it down. From there, I got my sister to help me make sure that I was kind of in the right position, that my legs are right, uh, that the pillows around me were right, and I was all set up and ready to go. And from there, my sister took the photo for me. This one was easy to do because I pretty much had everything that I needed and setting up my bed didn't really take that long. But trying to get your legs to be that wide while you're in jeans and also not very flexible while still trying to be like kind of candid and posing was a little bit difficult, but I managed to do it. This photo I also did have to edit a tiny bit because in the photo it is quite kind of more contrasty and stuff like that. So I did edit a little bit in the photo. I put the photo in to Facetune and I edited the details on my shirt. I went over it with the details tool to make it stand out and be more vibrant. And then I upped the contrast, turned the brightness down a little bit, stuff like that. I just did a little bit of editing to make the photos a little bit more similar. This photo was more on the easy side to recreate, but here is Madeline's photo and here is my photo. I think I did a pretty good job. Hers definitely, you can tell, is a little bit more candid than mine is, but I think because I was trying to recreate hers and doing her pose and stuff, it's not gonna turn out completely candid. But I do think I did an okay job. Also, I have realized that through taking these photos and stuff, her hair is definitely more on the red side and my hair is definitely more on the ginger side, but I still think it works pretty well. So moving on to the last photo, which was definitely hands down the easiest to recreate. Not only was the outfit super easy to recreate, but just the pose and kind of like the background and everything like that was probably more on the easy side. So this is the last photo that I will be recreating. It's just her kind of crouching down in front of a cement wall, I guess you could say. For this, thankfully, my sister had a pair of leggings that were very similar in color to the ones that she was wearing. I was just going to wear black leggings because I didn't have any that were similar color. But right before I went and took the photo, my sister was like, I have leggings that look pretty much exactly similar to that. Wear them because they'll look the same. So I put those on. I also just rolled the bottom a little bit since they were a little bit long on me. In the photo, she is wearing a kind of gray black cropped Calvin Klein long sleeve. I didn't have that, but I did have a black kind of crop shirt that was very similar a little bit. So I just wore that and I also rolled the bottom of it as well. So I had more of a gap from my pants to the top of my shirt. She's also wearing like a black kind of jean jacket in this photo. I do not have one of those, so I simply just wore a really thin black sweater and I rolled up the sleeves uh, since hers are a little bit pushed up. For the shoes, I just wore my Nike runners, but with a little bit of editing through Facetune, I managed to go in and cancel out the white Nike check that was on my shoes to make them look a lot more similar to hers since hers were just all plain black. 
I also had sunglasses that were very similar and then I just put my hair into a half up half down since that's what hers was. Now I didn't really find or couldn't really find anywhere for a background that was super super similar to hers. So my sister just went over to the school that was in walking distance of our house and they had a kind of similar cement wall that was broken up because hers is a cement wall that kind of stops halfway and then goes into like trees and stuff. But we just found a similar cement wall that was kind of two-toned. So the bottom of the cement wall and then the top of the cement wall were different. So I just crouched down and my sister crouched down. She told me where to place, placed my hands on the sunglasses. And once again, with a little bit of cropping and a little bit of editing, I managed to do my best to try and make it look very similar. And I think this one was definitely the easiest to recreate. And I think this one probably came out the best and probably was my favorite. I also really liked the outfit too. It was super comfy. So here is the before, the before. Here is Madeline's photo and here is me recreating the photo. So yeah, they're very similar. This was definitely the easiest one to recreate, not only because of the outfit, but also just, I think it was just a lot easier because I didn't really have to do a whole bunch for it. I just basically had to crouch down in front of a wall and I was good and set to go. But those were the three photos uh, that I decided to recreate from Madeline Petch's Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I did. It was definitely a lot of fun to film and try and do the best that I could to get the photos looking very similar to hers were. But yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun to film. I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below how you think I did on recreating Madeleine's photos. Let me know. I think I did an okay job for not going out and buying anything and just kind of doing with what I had in my house. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you think I did. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you are seeing my face and watching one of my videos, please click that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you are notified when I upload my next video. I do have other forms of social media like Instagram, and Twitter, of course. They're always linked down below if you want to go follow me on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!